last year, last summer, I was racing the Nationals and um, got married and everything. And just uh, being away from home, away from my wife and daughter, is just tough, you know. I um, feel like she's growing up without me and I don't want to be that that guy that's not there. They're way more important to me than to, than racing. And um, so I, I decided I want to hang it up from Supercross and Motocross because they keep me away from home right about nine months out of the year. And um, something I felt like I needed to do that I wanted to do. Um, and, but you know, started trying to figure out what the next chapter might be. And uh, GNCC racing has always been something I'd wanted to do just to try just to see if I could you know we grew up right riding in the woods and stuff and I just thought you know I think I can do this and um, my goal going into the first first round was if I can get out here to the top five I'm pumped I wanted to start this season off a little bit slower because I know I haven't been the most consistent guy I mean I thought I was in a great position in, at round one I was up as high as second after starting pretty far back and um, you know my speed felt good. I was learning some lines and figuring out some things that you know how these guys ride and fi figuring out the pace. And for two hours, I was cruising. I felt good. That pace felt really good to me, and um, just having fun out there. And I was okay with it. And I, I, I finished the race. I didn't get stuck. I didn't break the bike. I didn't crash out. It was all right. I walked the track with Caleb Russell um, on Saturday. Yeah, GNCC is totally different from <clears throat> what I've done my whole life. My whole life is, hey, here's the track. This is what you race on. You can't go off it. You can't cut this corner a little bit shorter. You can't go around this jump. That you stay between these banners, and. Um, <laughs> GNCC is not that way. It's hey, here's the course. You got 25 feet on either side. You can, you can cut that corner a little bit there, and that's legal. That's that's what they do. Yeah, we're gonna splash around. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. I told Ryan to go out there, and have fun, and uh, enjoy it just like your little kid riding in the mud. So that's what it's going to be today. Survival and picking good lines and uh, staying steadfast to the finish for sure. All those lines we scouted out, I don't think, we might have hit it first lap and then it was more and more because those lines were, I swear there were some ruts that were up to my seat out there. I know my seat was underwater one time and it's a deep mud hole when your seat's underwater. It makes me proud to know that we built a bike that'll make it through. That's the gnarliest mud I've ever ridden in, by far. And I know that bike was steaming and smoking and, you know, just getting ridden probably harder than most of the bikes ever get ridden. Oh, dude, I went down so many, t well, not a ton. I got stuck probably five times. That strap was a big lifesaver, Buzzy. I had to get both hands and yank the back end out of ruts like that. I felt like I rode good, I never gave up. I kept pinning it even when I was probably five minutes down on the first lap after a couple couple things happened. Um, kept pinning it, man, and uh, just excited to keep learning. So today's been a busy one. Got up and pulled that suspension off. Cleaned more, everything's still a mess. Tried to organize a little bit. Went for a bike ride. I think we did 27 miles or so. Um, Wanted to be longer, but some of the other stuff kind of popped up and we had to finish it off early. 
Had to go drop suspension off in E-Town. Now it's time to go do some fun stuff and ride a little bit. Had to piece the practice bike together because we had robbed some stuff for the race bike this past weekend. But got that thing going and then got a little bit of riding in. Um, had, a, had some fun. Uh, the neighbors got a little corner track. Um, it's not much. It's um, pretty short, but it's a lot of fun. Gets, gets some pretty good ruts and got some good dirt. All right, that does it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more from Chapter 2. Yeah! Winner! Oh, my butt stuck to that.